Hello students, I want to cover this week's lesson plans with you. So I'm going to sc scroll down and open the lesson plan slides. And as that is loading, okay. So this whole unit uh, is over morality, behavior, and justice. We are now in quarter three, week four. Uh, we began this unit last week. And as we are reading the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, we are going to be evaluating some of the characters and we're going to kind of judge them based on what is said about them, what they say themselves and the actions that they do. By the end of the novel, we, uh, as we are evaluating these characters, we're going to decide, were they guilty of what people said or are they not guilty? So we'll decide. We'll also decide, is the character the same from the beginning to the middle all the way to the end or have we seen a change? So this unit, is based on morality, behavior, and justice. There are two essential questions that we're going to focus on in quarter three. The two essential questions are, what is the relationship between morality, behavior, and justice? And then question number two is, how does one know when justice has been achieved? So as you're reading To Kill a Mockingbird and doing the various assignments with this novel, along with the additional reading pieces that we'll do occasionally, think in terms of what is the relationship between morality, behavior, and justice? And then how does a person know when justice has actually been achieved? Each week we have two sets of vocab words because our reading assignments have been divided into two sets. We did this last week and we will do this throughout the duration of this nine weeks. The first word that uh, comes or the first set of words comes from chapters eight through nine. The first word is entrusted. It is a verb and it means given over to another for care or protection. So if something is entrusted to someone else, if I entrust you with something, that means I give you something that I expect you and I trust you to take care of and protect it. Adjacent is an adjective meaning next to. Miss Maudie's house is adjacent to the Finch's house. It means it is next to the Finch's house. Perplexity is a noun, and this has to do with the condition of being puzzled. Um, she was in complete perplexity with what we said. She was completely puzzled by what we said or did. Ingenuous is an adjective and it means without sophistication, artless, or innocent. Uh, ingenuous, without sophistication, you do something and you don't really have a sophisticated level of doing it. Uh, perhaps you are drawing a picture. This would be me if I were drawing a picture. I, don't, I am really not that artistic, so I would be drawing the picture with an artless fashion. Um, it also means innocent. He innocently was doing an action, not realizing, you know, really what he was doing. Fanatical. Fanatical is an adjective and it describes uh, or it means being possessed or driven by excessive zeal. I am fanatical about reading good novels. I have, uh, I'm driven by excessive zeal or enthusiasm about reading good novels. I'm fanatical about it. Isolate is a verb and it means to separate yourself from the group or set apart, set yourself apart. Um, 
I know in the novel, Boo Radley has isolated himself pretty much. The whole Radley clan have, a, have isolated themselves from the rest of the community. There comes a point when Dill and Jim kind of abandon Scout and they go and do their own thing and Scout feels a bit isolated from the two of them. Debating. This is also a verb and it means deliberating or considering. If I'm debating an issue, I'm considering an issue. I'm considering if I make this choice, this will happen. And if I make this choice, this, is, this might happen. So I consider, I deliberate, I debate on something. Acquainted is a verb and it means made familiar with. I have become acquainted with you all through the course of this school year. I've been made familiar with you all. Okay, now we move to chapters 10 through 11. And there are only six words that I pulled for chapters 10 through 11. And these words start with a noun, contemporaries. And this means of the same time or era, uh, about the same age. My contemporaries will be those people that I went to high school with that were in my graduating class. Uh, contem my contemporaries could also be the people that were born the same year uh, that I was born. So contemporaries, same time or era, about the same age. Inconspicuous means not readily noticeable. That's me with my singing when, because I do not sing well. And when I'm singing, I, have, I am demonstrating inconspicuous singing. It's an adjective. Inconspicuous describes my singing. Not readily noticeable. I do not want people to hear me. So if I'm inconspicuous, they're not going to, uh, to notice that I am really singing. Uh, peril. Peril is a noun, and it just means the same thing as danger. We're in peril, we're in danger, same thing. Contradict is a verb and it just simply means to go against. If you contradict me, you're going against what I'm saying or doing. Uh, inaudible, and this is me singing again. Uh, it's an adjective, I, have, I like to be inaudible in my singing. I want to be unable to be heard. Um, I will move my lips and kind of whisper to myself the words. Uh, I'm inaudible, I'm, um, I'm unable to be heard. Cantankerous is an adjective, and cantankerous means contrary, disagreeable, and quarrelsome. So a cantankerous person is gonna be contrary, they're going to be a very disagreeable person, and they're even sometimes going to be quarrelsome. They're, they are going to, um, want to make waves. They're going to want to argue with you and disagree with you, okay? So the things that I want to main, make sure that I point out is please pay attention. I've posted, this is the overall agenda that applies generally to all classes and all students, but if you want the specifics, you'll need to go into your classroom, open your agenda in your Google Classroom and see what is posted day by day for your specific class, okay? We are going to do um, another reading assessment. We haven't done one of those in a few weeks. We're going to do a reading assessment and we are going to do um, a character log and I'll, I'll, I am going to make another lecture video and I will post it under character log explaining how to do the character log. Okay, continue your reading uh, we are going to have uh, all the way through the end of chapter 11 read by the end of this week by Sunday evening. Okay, have a great day and let me know if you have any questions.